Tips and Tricks to Going Paleo There are a lot of things that can help the paleo diet go more successfully for you than it would with just the simple advice of cutting out certain foods and hoping for the best. For example, did you know that eggs are paleo-friendly? And that if you are able to eat the entire egg, you will have a good boost of protein? There's nothing horribly wrong with egg whites or yolks. And they are both things that our ancestors would have eaten during the Paleolithic era. Like most things in life, going paleo is easier if you are doing so with someone else. If you have a spouse or partner or friend who is willing to change their lifestyle with you and work on creating new and interesting meals that are both fun and sustaining, then more power to you. It can make it a lot easier to have a partner while undergoing this major lifestyle change. So if you would like to try and recruit someone else to try it with you, then go ahead. Better yet, maybe buy them a copy of this training as a resource to help you both stay on the same page, so to speak. Oh, the puns. Now, try to keep in mind that there can be such a thing as too much fruit juice, as juicing fruits takes the fiber out of the fruit, so what you end up getting the majority of the time is a lot of natural sugar in one place. While it is still delicious, and it does have some vitamins to its merit, juicing can be a tricky business, so it might be better to look into ways to do so in a natural way if you find yourself craving something other than water or tea. Simply leaving some of the pulp in your juice can work wonders. So give that a try. It's okay to eat fruit on this diet, even though there are natural sugars in them. Just try not to go too overboard with them and it should be fine. They can be a great way to wean yourself off of processed foods and snacks that are ultimately very unhealthy and leave you feeling regretful rather than satiated. Also, instead of focusing on the things that you wish you had and really want, it's a good idea to find replacements for the things you crave rather than trying to use a lot of self-control to prevent yourself from giving in to temptations. There are great ways to replace things, such as the previous paragraph mentioned with replacing sugary desserts with natural, fruity kinds. Some people are very strict with their paleo diets and eat things the way they think the cavemen might have eaten them. This can be very limiting creatively in the kitchen. Try not to let yourself get closed into a box like that. You can have a lot of fun in the kitchen with the choices you do have at your disposal. Just think, if the Paleolithic man had access to the things we have today, Using the same ingredients, he would have been able to create some very delicious meals. In fact, he probably did to some degree have creativity with cooking. It is practically a survival mechanism to be able to do so. Speaking of the things our ancestors might have eaten, it is unlikely that the foods they ate had pesticides on them or were grown and nurtured on foods that had growth hormones in them. Do your best to try and weed out the ingredients that have needless chemicals in them. If you can afford to buy things organic, do so. It is a no-brainer to healthy eating to avoid things that are proven to contribute to cancer. Ultimately, we do not want to suffer in old age because of something that could easily be avoided. Isn't that the purpose of getting healthy in the first place? Going organic can help to cut down on the chemicals we put in our bodies that can cause issues later in life, so it's a good idea to consider it. Crockpots can be an amazing investment for anyone who is considering a paleo lifestyle. They make throwing meat and vegetables together into something savory and delicious a no-brainer. It's easy, it's affordable, and it's delicious. On top of that, during the summer months, a crock pot can help you prevent unnecessary heat in the house if you're cooking your food that way rather than baking or frying it. Another good idea if you're going paleo is to invest in soups. Soups are easy, they last a long time, and can be frozen and rethawed at a later time. Stews work the same way and can be great fallbacks in times of exhaustion. If you come home late and find yourself tempted to eat something quick and on the go, you can bypass the fast food restaurants and remember that you have a stew or a soup you can thaw and simply heat up. An instant meal. It's great to have that to fall back on so you don't end up indulging in things you know you don't actually want to eat. You can treat your body decadently and still have the same convenience. Actually, it can be more convenient because you find yourself saving money on food costs. Speaking of cooking, you may find it beneficial to plan your meals out and cook them in bulk during the week or weekend so you aren't struggling later with time and find yourself tempted to grab something convenient. While it can be troublesome to cook every single meal every single day, that can easily be remedied by cooking in advance. You can even freeze your meals and heat them up so they last longer. Like your very own microwave meals without the salt and other unhealthy preservatives and additives. There are a lot of ways to make cooking for yourself easy and convenient. All you have to do is find the time to do it and it will be done. Something you might object to, but could benefit you in the long run, is trying to eat as much of the animal as you physically are able to without getting sick. What this means is giving organ meats a chance. 
you don't want to find yourself objecting to some of the healthiest parts of the animal and wasting it. Our ancestors certainly wouldn't have done that. Organ meats can have a lot of health benefits, and they might even be something that can grow on you as far as your tastes go. You never know until you try. Don't forget to keep hydrated during this time. Drinking water is incredibly important. It helps your muscles and cells and keeps your body running as smoothly as possible. Drink especially if you are doing a lot of exercise or if it is hot out and you find yourself getting sweaty for whatever reason. It's important to make sure you are maintaining all parts of your body, not just the food parts. The Paleo Man would have made sure to get as much exercise and water as possible. His lifestyle demanded it. There were no exceptions and no waste. It is a good type of lifestyle to emulate. One thing that may end up being very trying is that to go paleo, it can be important to read the labels on your foods so you aren't accidentally consuming things you don't want to consume. There are all kinds of things that manufacturers can sneak into their products. If you think something is just chicken, it might not just be chicken. Who knows what else has been added to it? Often, things are salted and have other preservatives added to them to extend their shelf life. That's why it can also be a good idea to get friendly with local farmers who raise their animals on very specific and healthy diets and sell them fresh to their customers. It's better to consume animals that have had a healthy diet because everything they ate becomes a part of them and then they become a part of us. You don't want to consume hormones by proxy. They have already been linked with many terrible afflictions and should not be trifled with. Another rewarding project you might enjoy is cultivating your own garden. It can save a bundle of money to have fresh fruits and vegetables right at your disposal without having to worry about what has been sprayed on the foods you are eating or how they have been handled before you got to them. Make sure that you read about the safest practices of growing a garden so you are addressing all the possible needs it may have. They can be a little bit finicky, but overall, they are extremely satisfying and can have a generous yield. You can even garden in the city if you get creative enough with it. There are many resources that can help you learn just how to do that. One of the most important things to remember is that you should always have your eye on the prize. Think about what it is that has inspired you to go on a paleo diet and always have that reason close to your mind. Write it down somewhere you can see it all the time if you have to. Just do whatever you can to envision your goal and remind yourself why it is important that you continue to take the steps that need to be taken in order to achieve it. Everything you do will affect you eventually. The choices you make are things that you have to address. Maybe not now, but in the future. And if you are making bad choices for convenience now, your conveniences might be taken away later as a result of those choices. And that is just a simple, unfortunate rule of life. However, everything does end up having a balance. And if you continue working towards your goals and holding yourself accountable, if you find yourself slipping up, everything will get back to normal. You don't have to beat yourself up for a cheat day. Just remind yourself that it is an indulgence and it isn't supposed to get used to. Remember that you have a better plan for your next meal and that it is the plan that will help you to achieve your goals indefinitely. Remember why you went paleo and never go back. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.